Hi everybody, welcome to the Manifold channel. Let's take a look at the wonderful new uh, capability to format fields and tables that have just come out in the uh, most recent build of Manifold. And uh, we're looking at Manifold System Release 9 right now, and this is a uh, typical uh, demo project that's, uh, that's used throughout the documentation. It shows uh, Mexico uh, with uh, the various regions, uh, that is states of Mexico as uh, area objects. And if we uh, pop open the uh, table for each of these, we see that there's a population, number of automobiles, the name of the region, and uh, of course the geometry of it. And I uh, suppose we want to uh, format these numbers in a different way. And uh, there's a variety of uh, ways we can do that. The simplest way, let's, let's right click on that and let's uh, align right. And you can see that aligns the uh, number to the right. Or we can uh, click and align center and that aligns the number to the center. Uh, let's say we want to uh, do more sophisticated formatting. For example, let's say this isn't a is not a population field but a currency field. Uh, we can choose style. And in the uh, style dialog, which is you know probably going to change a little bit, we have all these different ways of showing that uh, same number. For example, we can show it as currency. We can show it as a simple decimal. We can show it as exponential. We're using a uh, upper or lowercase uh, e. Uh, we can show it as a uh, fractional number, or we can show it as a uh, number with uh, breaks. For example, let's do it this way, which will which will do breaks uh, using a comma. Uh, for example, to uh, set off the million, uh, the hundred thousand, and so forth. And uh, when we do breaks like this. Uh, Manifold is uh, language aware and it understands full Unicode, so we can choose a, a language, for example, uh, uh, English US, or let's uh, do uh, DE, DE, which is uh, German as used in uh, Germany. And when we do that, you'll see that it automatically changes the style of how numbers are written to use a European style. For example, in uh, Germany, they don't use commas to set off the million and the hundred thousand stuff, they use uh, decimal points. And instead of the decimal point setting off the decimal digits, they use a comma. So that's the European style way of doing it. If we want to choose, it, send that back to uh, using American style, uh, we can just choose the uh, uh, language uh, U.S. English, and now that comes back in, in U.S. English. That's also true of currency. You know, so it's a sophisticated way of doing it. So, for example, if we want to suppose this wasn't a population, but it was uh, some currency, a, a, a number of dollars and cents or whatever, uh, then we can choose uh, the uh, currency, and you can see the preview of how it's done here. Uh, and we can choose that as currency, and you can see that uh, uses the dollar sign because we're using U.S. English. If we wanted to use different currencies, for example, in Germany they use euros. Uh, if we uh, chose here, uh, entered DE, that's for Deutschland, uh, you can see it uh, changes the preview so we can see how that would look. So you can just do that and that automatically would do it European style. Uh, it's extremely easy to uh, change this to whatever format that you want. Uh, let's go back to country neutral which uh, you know basically is default English and uh, let's uh, let's uh, use this style which is st standard decimal that's the, uh, that's, the def that's the default and you can s choose the number of decimal digits for example we can choose four decimal digits and in this case since these are integers it doesn't have any decimal di digits after it but if, if we if, if it was a floating point value it would show that with decimal dig digits uh, so let's uh, choose that style again and uh, actually uh, do, do, do. Oh, excuse me, it's, 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 it's this, this one fractional with the number of digits. So that shows, that shows it that way. I mean, what's the point of having a preview if you ignore the preview, right? So <laughs> take a look at what the preview is in the styles to, to know how that works. And if you use only two decimal digits, watch what changes. There's only two. Or three decimal digits is that. So you can, you can change it to being exactly the way you want it. There isn't currently any uh, style uh, setting for uh, uh, text that, that probably will emerge in uh, future builds. And uh, there's analogous style settings for all the various different data types. For example, for if you want to change how the geometry uh, is portrayed, there's a variety of different geometry styles that can be done. For example, uh, if you want to see the number of bytes that uh, you know a geometric object takes, you can see that's that's the size. But if you want to see the uh, have it report of how many coordinates there are in there and how many branches, uh, there it uses this nomenclature. So, for example, in San Luis Potosi, it uses 902. Uh, uh, coordinates and uh, Durango uses uh, 527 uh, coordinates so you can uh, choose whatever style you want uh, I tend to prefer just the default one because that's the simplest and uh, just shows lines areas or points uh, but like I say you can use the other ones if you choose uh, so you can choose all these different things uh, if we had a date time field here there's a variety of different formats that you can use for, you can use for date time you can see those in the uh, documentation uh, and those two uh, just like this uh, automatically will uh, adapt to whatever uh, the language setting it is that that, sh that you use for you know because as you know as you're probably aware they use different uh, uh, date time formats in uh, the United States as they do in Europe in terms of uh, month day and and year ordering 
So uh, all that happens automatically within Manifold. All that gives a preview. These uh, code numbers that you see here on the left, by the way, like I say, the style dialog may change, but the code numbers uh, are related to the same uh, format codes that are uh, presets in uh, the various SQL functions that uh, automatically generate this if you want to generate all this stuff through SQL. Well, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, quick video. Uh, when you uh, change the style uh, setting for a field, it's uh, automatically remembered. So the next time you open up the project, uh, you know, it's the same way. Or the next time you open up the table, for example, let's close the table. And now let's open it again. You can see that those those things have been remembered. Uh, so it's, it's that easy to use. I encourage you to, to work with it. Uh, updated uh, upcoming builds, like the next build, for example, will take the automatic style settings that have been used for fields and will automatically propagate them into any labels that you may choose to create you know, using those fields. So you can change the uh, label style either using the uh, uh, style dialog for uh, labels or you can uh, do it in, in the field, in which case it'll be automatically inherited. I hope you've enjoyed this quick video. Thanks for watching. Tell your friends and goodbye from Manifold Land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.